Welcome to Verma TV with me, David Simons. And me, Si Pitway. Today in the episode, you're going to see all these squirrels shot at different distances. And uh, we're down in Gloucester with uh, Neil Palmer and a few other lads who are shooting their uh, FX impacts, uh, high calibre. And there's a Rapid 7 as well, isn't there? And a Rapid 7. And I think the sub 12 foot pound has uh, outshot them today. <laughs> So these are the first two squirrels, what must be friends, they both come together to the feeder to feed. You can see I'm tracking the one what's going up the tree and is quite elusive uh, between the branches and Davey in the meantime he's using his HW100 and his shot tracks. The squirrel picks up a nut and sitting there and Davey takes it with a very clean shot as seen. My one then comes down the tree really quickly onto a branch and then onto the floor to see why his friend has gone to the floor really quickly. You see he's shaking his tail a little bit, I think he's a bit confused. But what I'm waiting for here is a nice clean shot because all I can see at the minute is the rear end of the squirrel uh, and that wouldn't be a humane shot. You'll notice in a little while the squirrel will start to turn to the left uh, and then it gives me a clear on head shot in a little while and I take him very cleanly just how we like to do. A little bit of hold over because the squirrel feeder is quite close. There you go, like that. A little shake of the leg with nerves and then that's him gone. Here's the next squirrel, don't take very long, you see he's straight up the post and then he takes a nut uh, and he's sitting nice and sideways on for Davy to take a really nice shot like so and the squirrel falls straight to the ground very humanely killed yet again. What happens now is three squirrels come to the feeder all at once, you'll see you've got the one on the right then as I come to the left there's another two and I think they must be from the same dray Anyway, I'm tracking this one here at the minute uh, and Dave is tracking the other one through his HW100 scope. I'm not sure which one to take yet uh, and Davy says I'll take the one on the right, you take the one on the left. So I'm covering this one now, I'm going to give it a nice little bit of hold over and down he goes. You'll see the one now which is above and I'm now covering and I'm waiting for Davy to shoot. Now as Davy gets the right aim point on his reticle and pulls the trigger uh, he's got his safety catch on so he tells me to take it I take the shot and the squirrel goes down squirrels. five squirrels so far uh, how many? five oh wicked down in uh, Gloucestershire at uh, Neil Palmer's permission but how many have we seen? a lot more than five yeah. a lot more yeah There's, I'll show you where the uh, feeder is there's some birds fluttering around there's another squirrel down there look. where? Place yeah, we're getting some down there. The second post, as you can see right in the centre, is 41 metres. So 45 yards. And if I come out, it's going to be a bit bright probably. It depends where the sun is. Up there, yeah, it is bright. It's a couple of feeders, but when we're finding that the, uh, they don't stop. They run straight out of the woods into the maze. Yeah, so we're having a better look on this side, aren't we? Yeah, they're feeding in the maze and coming out of the maze. Going up. Yeah, I'll see him. Oh, I'm on him. Clean, lovely. That's lovely and clean, David. That's how we like them. JSB heavies, boom. They're good, aren't they? Straight in the sweet. They're a mint pellet for hunting. So in the meantime then, this is some footage from Neil Palmer's feeder and he's using an FX impact in 30 calibre at 70 foot pounds. You'll see he's waiting for the squirrel to take a nut and sit nice so he can get a nice clean shot. He takes a shot and the squirrel goes down. Next squirrel then, same again, taking a nut and sat sideways on giving Neil a really nice aim point and just look at the damage what this 3-0 calibre does to the uh, feeder. This is from Mike Pocket's hide and Mike's using an FX impact in 2.5 calibre and you'll see he takes that squirrel nicely and then later another squirrel sits on the side of the tree and just before he shoots the squirrel moves round to the feeder and takes a nut. 
as it takes a knot it sits up and gives Mike a really nice target to shoot at and you'll see in a second Mike takes it very cleanly and that one goes down as well like so got a squirrel now approaching the feeder Very clean, do we? Hold him right over. Yeah, I'm on him now, that's just a kick of the legs. <coughs> He's still be 100 for you. GSB heavies. Yeah, oh, look at that, see that? It just bounced. No, look. No. See the hole in the bottom of the tree? Yeah, has he gone in there? Yeah, he bounced right into the hole in the tree. Yeah. That's the thing you see, you see that hole there? David just said he's bounced into there. Bugger. Yeah. Makes it good footage, just stalking at that edge line and lying down and taking one of them out, Yeah, look at all them pigeons there, Neil. Mm -hmm. He feeder up there, there's also been tons and tons of squirrels across there. Across that track, but they haven't stopped. But look at them coming down, there must be God knows how many fifty. Maybe more, it's still coming in. Way too far. 150, 60 yards. So after a little wait, a pigeon actually comes and lands in a tree just in front of me, but it's just over 50 meters. So I give it the right aim point, but as I pull the trigger, I hit a branch in front of it and miss the bird completely. One of these squirrels bounced down this hole. David's going to see if he can uh, put his hand down and get him. See the blood. Can you get your hand in? I can't get my hand in there. Fans. Did you get that one? Look. Look yeah. at that one. Just be heavy. Yeah. Wrecked it. Let's watch. See? Bubble. <laughs> Coming up. Going straight through, isn't it? Keeping things honest as we like to do, this was a bit of a wounding shot and it was a total accident. You'll see I'll slow it down in a minute, but just as I'm about to pull the trigger, the squirrel moves forward like so. I pull the trigger uh, and then we do look for that squirrel, but we can't find him even in the undergrowth. To show you what that shot looked like at normal speed, you'll see it's that quick. Unfortunate, but a total accident. It's gonna fall. There he is. Hold on. See what we've done is, we've noticed that this post here which is 45 yards. A lot of them are running through. And it looks like to be some sort of like animal run there. And that's the squirrels who are coming through there. So we'll put some nuts down. Look. Shot. Yes. Nice shooting, well done. 39, 39.9. Uh, 39 yeah, cool. With the air arms. Yes. So this is the recording I took then through the PARD NV008 LRF. You see I just gave it a bit of hold over and I hit it really cleanly uh, right in the side of the head. So you've just seen that one there, 39.9 meters on the laser. And as I said earlier on, that's the post where we put the nuts down. Now originally Davy says it would be a good idea to grab some from the box and put it down there. That's why we did it in the first place and you can see it paid off. Yeah, well done. Nice, nice range, long range shot as well. Yeah, so what's that, 39.9 is 40, so that's 44 yards that was. Yeah, that was good. 
almost 45 yards. So we're back to Neil's feeder now with the uh, 30 cal. This one sat nicely and rolls off the side of the branch. Same with this one on the branch. Neil's just tracking him now till he picks up a nut, which he does there, and you'll see him take a nice clean shot and that one rolls off. This is back at Mike's feeder. And Mike hits him with a nice clean shot there, hangs on and then drops to the floor. But the next shot is a miss. The squirrel slightly moved and uh, got away. Oh mate. That was freestyle, look. Yeah, standing or oh, sitting unsupported. <laughs> there he goes, look. <laughs> nice shot. So as you saw that squirrel went in and then came back out and that's probably on JV's uh, secondary zero, probably about I don't know, fifteen, sixteen metres. Yeah, it's definitely down. Straight right? over. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, that was uh, <coughs> awesome. He's still kicking his legs a lot, it's just nerves. Yeah. There's another one right on the yeah. forehead. Yeah, them, them, that's what I said. There's nothing what I know what beats them GSB heavies in sub 12. Yeah. yeah, that's the first time I've used the heavies. I bet they? you're going to use them again, aren't you? Yeah, definitely 100%. They're nailing it. Yeah, they're brilliant. Onto the feeder. I'm on him whenever you are. Not a nice sideways on. Oh yeah, near that hole isn't it? I hope you don't kick him sent in. A little old for Davy. And if I spin round slowly, hopefully you can see, the cracking in the background is the bacon and sausage cooking. You just put another one in him, just to make yeah, sure. Just, I mean, that's nerd, but... Yeah, I know, you don't want to go down that hole. That's the way we roll on VHTV. Turn that bloody cook off and steam up the scope. <laughs> <laughs> so this is me filming through my pod, but Davey's going to take the shot, hence why the crosshairs are low and to the right. What I want you to see is the damage what these JSB heavies do in 177. You see, he hits the squirrel there, and just look at the blood pouring out that squirrel's head. You know, it's not going to get much more humane than that. That's a really nice shot from Davy. And them pellets really do a really good job of making things humane. So this little fella comes on his own. Uh, and he's obviously hungry. So I'll wait, give him a bit of time to actually get up to the feeder and take a nut. You see he's looking down. He's probably looking at some of the ones that have already been shot on the floor. And he takes his nut anyway and I give him a nice little bit of bold over it, it doesn't have to be much, about half a mil dot with this reticle. Uh, he goes down, hangs on to the tree for a second and then falls to the floor. Where's he gone? Oh I've seen him. Okay. Okay. Still on him. This squirrel, we followed him with his eyes, and he actually used some maize as cover, run through the maize, and then came out as close as he could do to the maize and to the feeder. Very tactically well. They was just going to wait and take him out. Hope we don't go down that old way the other one went. No, it's coming out of his forehead, look. Good. Or was that the other one? Hold on. So this is pick up number three. No. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're going down to the uh, 39.9 metre on first. Very muddy. Another one up there was there. 
That should be a nice headshot. Oh yeah, look at that for shot. That's the uh, accuracy of that Ultimate Sport OR. Oh. Look at the brain, you can see the brain lock. Yeah. See the white stuff yeah. there? Now that hasn't moved at all after that shot. There was no nerves, nothing, it just went over on its side, didn't it? That yeah. was it. That's a good shot placement though, isn't it? Yes, definitely, from that from that range, yeah. Well happy with that. That's right up there, look. One euro, you're the one here. Nice shot, that's perfect brain shot. Can we film that? Oh man, look at that yeah, mess of that. That's what I mean, that's what, that's what I was saying about them heavies. Entry, yeah, yeah. exit. Yeah, the, the, I don't think there's anything, any pellet sub 12 what beats them for hunting. Have not tried those Hades yet, have we? No, I haven't tried them. <laughs> Need to put a rock or something in that hole, don't we? Yeah, nice right shot, top, top of the head. head, brilliant. There's been a lot of forehead shots today. Yeah, one that's there. that one I hit in the forehead, you know when you said yeah. you hit it in the forehead? This and that's the one what was bleeding like hell when you shot it. Yeah, see, it's not knocked its, br its brain or whatever that is, a big blood clot. Top of the head, right in the forehead, look. Yeah. In fact, that might have been the one I shot because it's a little... Uh, Little a blood trail where that one's a bigger one. Yeah, I think that's the one I've shot there. Yeah. With the heavies. And that that one there with the littler one, look, you can see the difference between that's probably an air arms field. There. <laughs> and that's a JSB heavy. We've got a squirrel in there, but we never managed to get out. No, we ain't gonna be able to get that out. But we're gonna block, block that hole up. up. So it can't go back in there if it does kick itself. Yeah. Some of the lads are checking the zero because dropped his rifle. Left hand. Mark with his FX impact. There's a 44 yards, Checking zero. So there's no wind. This is in zero. No wrong with that. Yeah, it's not far off that. That's 2 2, is it? 2 5. 2.5, yeah. FX Impact, 30 cal at 70 foot pound. Timber back up, Kev. I'm not, I'm in zero range. That was same That's better, that's bullseye. <laughs> so it's dinner time now. Cheers. Bit of chicken Cheers. in the basket. Lovely. Look at that. Just do them. <laughs> mm. So this is some more footage then and this is from Neil's feeder. It's in no particular order of time, they're just different clips what I got off Neil at the end of the day. Uh, but this is the FX impact in 30 caliber at 70 foot pound and you can hear by the noise uh, and see how quick the uh, vermin are dying, just how effective the uh, 30 cal is. After this is finished then we'll go on to Mike's extra footage and same again, it's in no particular order of time but it's Mike's 2.5 caliber FX impact before we go back finally uh, to me and Davey shooting from our hide. This is a nice bit of footage of a 30 cal in a J with a body shot and look how quick that went over. Really really nice. This is an excellent demonstration of a heart and lung shot in a large calibre and you can see it's just as humane as a headshot. 
the squirrel will take a nut and then it's sideways on and you'll see where the point of aim is and the squirrel goes over very very cleanly so here we are then back to Mike's hide and his feeder this is the same again this is another heart and lung shot with a large caliber it's 2.5 caliber This is another nice shot on a J, very humanely taken out. Blimey, just a flick again. Great shooting, mate. 13, uh, 14, that's now. 14, one in. Hanging on with his hook fingers. Yeah. There he goes. Straight down. Back of the tree. Hold well on, Davy. Sweet. That's the second one after uh, the lunch break. Yeah. Second after lunch. And uh, it's looking very promising. So, this is Sai shooting the Ultimate Sporter R after lunch. Uh, and when he gets a good laze on this, it's 48.6 meters. So it's a really long range shot. You see I have to pick the right aim point. I'm using time six and a half at the minute on the uh, pod, but you can see I hit that with an absolute cracker of a brain shot. Uh, and later on when we do the pickup, yeah, I'll show you where the shot placement actually was. So we just walked up now to the one like 48 meters, around about 53 yards. There it is. Should be. There we go. Straight through. Perfect head shot. Big squirrel that as well. And that one was shot away from down there. Good shooting mate, yeah, I'll 45 give, yards that was. I'll give him a mill dot when it should have been three quarters. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm quite happy with that. Well done. Yeah, but you're using a, a, a zero what you don't usually use, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, not too worry. So at this part of the day I take a stalk up the right hand side of the edge and I've got my back against the feeder. This one's just over 30 metres and I bowl him over but when I go to pick him up I can't find him for some reason. Is it, God, is it thirsty work shooting on them squirrels mate? Very thirsty. Where did you get that air arms drink thing from? This is what comes in um, the goodie bags. Oh, right. Yeah, it's, it's a brilliant little bottle. Yeah. Winning combination, water and air arms. <laughs> so this was the final squirrel of the day and this one came out some maize and then run along an edge line about 30 metres out. I track it with the pod and you can see I take it with a nice headshot to the side of the head which bowls it over and it was a real bonus because normally they run out the maze and straight into the woods but out of sight. That's the fourth pick up. So. 
going down, David's going to get down to get his 45 yarder. He's got the one in his hand where he shot out of the tree. Nice. Nice headshot. Oh yeah. Nice. Just behind the eye. Nice shot. The air arms and the HW100 kick the impact's asses today. <laughs> and they're all FAC, we're sub 12. All joined up now, look, and uh, putting them out in rows. Then we'll do a, a count at the end. But you can see we've got stacks, absolute stacks. There's quite a few J's there as well, aren't there? Yeah, ten. ten. You can see why the uh, there was causing a problem in the wood. This many. No wonder the trees are getting eaten and the crops. And songbirds you said Neil, didn't you? Yeah, the songbirds got a good hammering up them. This is the fourth year on the top we've been hammering up. Blimey, alright. <laughs> That's some loads. Yeah, right, so this is the, the joint uh, bag what we've got today. Uh, how many was it in the end? 78. 78. 78. And, and how many J's? Four J's. And four J's. Four J's, so that's good. So this is a, a good reason why we was asked to come here today because imagine all these and there's probably a lot more we missed today, as in not missed them but didn't shoot them because they was out of range and all the songbirds in these woods and the crops uh, when the farmer's trying to grow them is going to get hammered. So you say this is fourth year on the drop? Four for you on the truck, yeah. And you're getting these sort of numbers every time? Still getting these numbers, yeah. yeah. Same feeders. Yeah, so people who think they're nice and friendly and cuddly little creatures, they cause a lot of damage. They're all right when you've got one in your garden, but when you've got 78 killing your crops and your birds, it's not, it's not a fun thing. No, yeah. And I would like, just like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to Neil Palmer at Cotswold Shooting Supplies yeah. for yeah. the invitation of us all today. Muchly appreciate it, buddy. Cheers. That's all right, no problem. Thank you, yeah, yeah. thank you. And, uh, the sub 12 foot pound <laughs> won the kill today, I believe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on the hot spot. <laughs> so, guys, from us all, we'd like to wish you all, our subscribers, and anybody else who watches the channel, a very, very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Well done. Look at him look, <laughs> that was squirrel shoe, <laughs> he's got the bloody cooking pan out there, <laughs> some sausage, sausages yeah. and bacon sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> don't rub it in the HTV. <laughs> While we were setting up the squirrels, an alien plane landed. There's a UFO, so we're about to be taken. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>